Hello everyone! My name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Moses 2. Let's read. So Moses has escaped from Egypt. So one day Moses led the flock to the far side. Sorry, of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, as he blazing fire in the bush. <coughs> Moses was amazed. Because the bush was English in flames, but it didn't burn up. God called them from the bush. Moses, Moses, here I am. Moses replied. Then God said, "I am the God of your ancestor." The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob said to Moses, "I am who I am. This is what you're to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you." The cries of the Israelites have reached me. And I have seen how the Egyptians have oppressed them with heavy thoughts. Now go for. I am sending you to Paro. You will let my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. So one day, Joseph has. Taking his sheep, and suddenly the bush was burning. There was the fire. But the bush didn't burn. And God called Moses that led my people out of Egypt, because now Israelites are in slaves in Egypt. So Moses said to the Lord, "Oh Lord, I'm just not a good speaker. I never have been." And I am not now. Even after you had spoke to me, I'm colorless with words. Who make masses? The Lord asked him. Who makes people so they can speak or not speak, hear on or not hear, see or not see? Is it now, not I? The Lord, go and do as I have told you. I will help you speak well, and I will tell you what to do. Aaron will be your spokesman to the people. I will help the both of you to speak correctly, and you will be as God to him, telling. Him, what to say? So like Moses was afraid because Paro was going to kill him. So he said, "But I am not a good speaker." God, I am not a good speaker. Yeah, God said, "I have made the mouth of you, isn't it?" And I will. Let Aaron go at yet, because Aaron is a good speaker. The Lord said to Moses, 
go to Paro and meet your teammates and I have made them and his officer thought uh, so I can continue to display my power by performing miracles singing among them you will be able to tell wordful stories to your children and your grandchildren about the marvelous things I have I'm doing among the Egyptian and prove that I am the Lord sent Moses and I went to Paro and that just as the Lord commanded they said to Paro the Lord the God of the Hebrew has sent me to say you to you let my people go so that they can they may worship me in the desert but Paro hurt was hard and he would not let the Israelites go just as the God the Lord has said sought Moses so Moses said let my people go that they have to worship God the Lord one true God Aaron has gone together but Pyro said no never The Lord said to Moses, I will send just one more distance on Paro and the land of Egypt. After that, Paro will let you go. You go, Moses announced to Paro. This is what the Lord says. A mount mighty I will pass through Egypt. All the firstborn son will die in every family in Egypt. <clears throat> From the oldest son of Paro, you will, who sits on the throne, to the oldest son of his lowest slave. Even the firstborn son, firstborn of the animal will die. And my the Lord kill all the firstborn sons in the land of Egypt from the firstborn son of Paro who sat on the throne to the firstborn son of the captive in the dungeon where even the firstborn of the list that were killed. Paro sent to Moses and Aram during the night, leave us, he cried, go away, all of you, go and serve the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds and be God. Go, but give me blessing as you live so before killing the first part so there was many um bad things happened in egypt but power didn't listen so the firstborn son is died. israelites had to live for four uh, 430 years the lord Judge them at by the pillar of cloud during the day and <clears throat> the pillar of fire at the night. They were that way they could live, travel, whatever it was, day or night. <clears throat> the Lord did not remove the pillar of clouds of pillar of fire and their sign when the king of is 
Egypt told the people had failed. Paro and his officers changed their minds about them and said, What have you done? We will have left the Israelites. Go and have lost their service. So he had to turn me ready to take his army with him. So God led the Israelites with the cloud pillar in the day and the fire pillar in the night. But suddenly, Paro changed his mind. As Paro and his army are charged, the Israelites class see then the distance marching through them. The people began to panic and they cried out of the Lord to help. Moses told the people, do not be afraid, stand from and you will see the distance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptian you see today, you will never see again. The Lord of fight for your need only the still. Then the Lord said to Moses, Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on the ground, dry ground. Then Moses searched out his hand, stretched out his hand over the sea, and all night the Lord drew the sea back with all strong east wind and turned into the dry land he the water divided the Egyptian was coming and God said to raise his staff and the sea divided Wow. When the angel of God who had been leading the Israelites moved to the potion behind them, and all the pillars of cloud also moved around behind them, the clouds settled between the Israelites and Egyptian camps and smite. Came night came the pillar of cloud turned into a pillar of fire, lighting the Israelis camp, but the cloud became darkness of the Egyptian. They could find the Israelis all night long. The Israelites went through the sea on the dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Israelites pushed them and all Paro's horses and chariots and horsemen fell them into the sea. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and at dry break daybreak the sea went back into place the egyptians were feeling torn it and the lord sped with them into the sea the water flowed back to and covered turrets and homes the ancient army of Paro 
that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one served it. So they have walked in the dry land. This has how the Lord rescued the Israelites from Egypt that day. The Israelites could see the bones of the Egyptian swashed out on shore. And when the Israelites saw the great power of the Lord display against the Egyptian, the people's first and the Lord and put their oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, their trust in him and the in Moses his servant Moses and the Israelites sang that song to the Lord I will sing to the Lord for he is actually ex exalted the Lord is my strength, and the song has become savers. He is God, and will, will praise Him, my Father God. Then I will extend Him who will easily among the God is like you, O Lord, who is Drenches and hustle like you. So awesome the and splendor perfumes such wonders. The Lord will redeem forever and ever. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!